Welcome back to the Vapor Whisperer. Today, I'm teaching you an uh, origami that I designed based off of Scott Stern's um, origami crane head of crane. This is my version of it. May not look as cool as his, but I think it looks pretty cool, though. It's, uh... So the difference is that instead of the crane head and crane having like a crane in his head, it's supposed is instead of more like a crane in a nest on its head. You can see. So this is a pretty simple origami, but I'd still recommend having maybe at least a year of experience and experience of folding a normal crane. So I'm gonna start with a sheet of tissue foil, brown tissue foil, eight by inches. Or, sorry, um, to buy or twenty by twenty centimeters. So you're gonna start right side up and fold. What you're gonna do is you're gonna fold. At sorry, you're gonna fold the. You're gonna make it so it's a diamond, and you're gonna fold the bottom corner to the top corner. Strong crease, as always. Now what you're gonna do is you are gonna so you're basically gonna fold the bottom edge to this crease the crease the only crease on the paper the crease you just made whatever you want to call it and only make a pinch right here now fold this edge to that pinch. About that much. And unfold and fold the edge up and make a crease on this intersection point. Unfold. Now Create a rabbit ear with those two folds you just made. And then fold the flap you make. Make sure it's accurate though. So just check it. Just kind of vin it out. And once you make the rabbit ear, just kind of slowly fold it to each side. and squash it into a half of a square base. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure the square base or the half of it is at the top. Now, you don't, you're gonna fold these edges to the middle. Feel free to pre-crease it, but I prefer to just do it as it is. It's easier and it's just as accurate if you do it right. In fact, it's actually easier to be accurate. That way, you're not like based off of creases you have to do, and it could be good or wrong. Uh, sorry, let me change my camera a bit. I'm just trying to find the right angle. Perfect. So now, what you're going to do is you are going to turn over and make a fold. So that this edge, this edge, the fold aligns with it. So that you make a crease. That, oops. That this edge, edge hits. The heat on the other side. Now, the same thing, rabbit ear it. And then basically you do the same steps. You grab it, ear it, you squash it. But be careful not to rip it. That's very important. Now, the same thing. You basically fold the edges. One sec. To the middle. Wait. Right now I don't have to zoom in with QuickTime's player, so I'll work that out later. 
my webcam is the easiest to deal with. Okay, now fold, now fold it up. It's gonna look, it makes a really cool looking shape. That looks similar to the tail of Satoshi Kamiya's um, Phoenix. I believe that's what he used for it. I haven't made it before. Now, turn over again and fold the whole, from this point, make a crease between this point and this point, or folding this corner to that point, or that corner, but crease through every single layer. So we're not doing this, we're not doing this, we're folding it all up. Unfold. Now, fold a crease from this edge to this edge, going between, going, crossing this intersection point. Unfold and repeat in the other direction. Now, you guessed it, you make a square base. This time a real one with two sides. And then turn over and you're gonna make a crease between to fold this to the side. And turn over and do the same thing with a flap on the same side so that it's a normal square base except this all that we did right then is actually in between two flaps now what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a, cre a crease around, along this crease with the first layer into a mountain fold tucking it in and then we're gonna do another petal fold I meant to explain that in the beginning. This is a slightly beginner model. It's pretty simple, but and it's easy, pretty easy to get. It's a it's a super easy model, but it's I still recommend having a bit of experience. And fold it up. Now turn over and repeat. But of course you're gonna fold this. Of course you're gonna heat all the stuff. So tuck it in first. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold this corner to the center point, go crease through all those thick layers. It's really hard. Yeah, sometimes. And repeat on the other three. Just to make a strong crease. It's kind of tough. It's like 20, I don't know how many layers, but there's like 20 layers in there. Maybe not, more like five or six, but still, there's a lot of layers. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna do a reverse fold on this flap. But first, what you're gonna do One sec, let me check for something real quick. But then you're gonna make a rabbit ear. Sorry, one sec. So you're basically gonna fold the reverse fold. Then you're gonna fold this out. 
Let me check something real quick. Oops, the wrong one. Okay. Might have done something wrong. I did something wrong. So you basically, basically you kind of fold it a bit. Sorry, I'm doing a bad job explaining it. I'm trying to explain the best I can. Some of that smart myself. So basically, you're gonna fold it out a bit. Sorry, I'm having such a hard time. Then make it fold it back in and fold it again. And fold this this flap back. And then the last thing is folding the tail. And then fold the wings. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you next time. Bye. Make sure to like the video if you want more great tutorials.